This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Kathy Ireland, Wedding and Resorts. Aloha, I'm Lanai with Cooking Hawaiian Style Season 7, the show that features local celebrities and local chefs. This week in the kitchen, we're talking about ahi. My good friend Russell Sue joins us. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, Russell Sue. How are you doing? Thanks You're for good. joining us. Thank you. I've been Happy trying to get you uh, in the kitchen for si seven seasons now. You've been busy, haven't you? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got. Tell us about, about your restaurants. It's uh, 36 on the rise, the first restaurant I opened uh -huh. in 1992. And kind of upscale. Yes. We do Euro Island cuisine. One of my favorite restaurants, by the way. Then we opened Kakaako Kitchen in 95. Uh -huh. And we started off at White Model, then we moved to Ward, and then now for like. Going 21 years. I think uh, a lot of people don't realize how hard it is to keep open a restaurant. And oh, you've is. been doing it. It's, it's hard work. It, it's a lot of work. 21 years and then 3660. When did that start, you said? 92, so 25 92. years this year. Wow, 25 years. And you kind of revamped the, the menu a little bit. Slowly we're changing some things out, yeah, but people yeah. always call back, hey, how come you took that off? How come right. you took that off? So it's hard. Why is it called 3660 on the rise? Because it's 3660 Wildlife Avenue, uh -huh. and it's the corner of William and Rice. You, you see? It, everything has a meaning, all right? So make sure you go and see him. And you guys are open just for dinner at 3660. Tuesday to Sunday. Okay, and then Kakako Kitchen? Every day from 10 to 9, except for Sundays, 10 to 4. Try the five spice shoyu chicken. Awesome. Is that your recipe? Yes. <laughs> what are you going to be making today? Um, bubu adere crusted salmon. Okay. With the usual aisle, usually butter sauce. And I'm going to top this with a pickled onions <clears throat> and some other things. Okay. Do you, should I turn on the fire for you? I'll turn the back. Oh, the First back. First thing I'm going to do, I'll put my shallots. Okay. How about, what about, just a little bit, handful? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Scallions. Some, some scallions. I'll put my rice vinegar. All right. We're going to put all the exact amount on our website. White wine. Oh, you're doing about a tablespoon of, uh, okay. how much and white wine vinegar is that? I would say, white wine vinegar is about two tablespoons. Okay, that's one thing about chefs. There's no measurements, yeah? You just eye them. Eye them, man. Here, we're going to add ginger? our ginger, and we'll do a reduction. Can you put the store yeah. on? Yeah, it's on. You want it high? A little I'm bit higher. higher. Okay, there we go. What high school did you go to, Russ? I went to St. Louis. St. Louis, <laughs> yeah? You did you St. Louis High School? I didn't know that. Yeah, St. Louis. Yeah, you smart bugger, are you? Nah. You play football? No. <laughs> you, did you cook in high school? No, I was a shark oh, you shot <laughs> oh, He's a shark. That's what he is. He's nah. a shark. All right, so you just okay. put that on high. And, and you, this is the sauce for this? Right. We're going to let that reduce by half. OK. And we'll add a little cream. OK. And they use the sauce. We All add right. the yuzu in too early. As it cooks, the flavor goes away. Yuzu is one of my favorite ingredients from the Japanese. Tell everybody what yuzu is. Yuzu pretty much is a cross between like a lemon, a lime. Uh-huh. And it looks like a lime, right. but it's like $3 one. Yes. Yeah, you're paying for shipping. That's why. <clears throat> All right, and what else are you going to put in there? Okay, and that's it for now. I'll reduce it. Okay. Now we're going to start our salmon. All right. Okay. May I get salt, pepper, please? Yes, we got some salt. You want Hawaiian look, salt? You want straight Hawaiian? What you like? That's good. Again, any kind of salt. That's good. I'll give you some Hawaiian salt. Okay. There you go. How'd you so, come up with this recipe? Um, <clears throat> I can't remember, but we just... Tried it, you know, like my sous chef we got together. We said, hey, yeah. we got a new thing on the market called bubu arare. It's almost like kakemochi. Yeah, I love that. And so what, I said bubu, but it's a little bigger balls. Uh -huh. But I like to use a smaller one. Okay. Masago. Yeah, the masago. So masago, they got, I guess, the name uh, from like the masago fish. Right. Is that where they got that's the name like, of the looks size? like little eggs, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like right there. That looks awesome. And the right. reason why I use this, because it sticks onto the salmon better. Okay. Now, so we got your pan going. You need any oil? Yep, oil. All right, some oil for you. When did you start cooking? When I was 15. 15? Do you remember the first dish you ever made? Hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> simple. Uh, hamburger steak or hamburger Ham with bun? Uh, okay, back in, 
and I cooked in a 65. Uh huh. There was no there was no plate lunches at that time. Yeah. Then Kenny's, I worked at Kenny's Burger House. Okay. Then we started doing plate lunches, I think about three years later. Then we had Terry beef, you had your spare rib, uh -huh. you had a roast pork. Hamburger steaks came on later on in the years. A little, little bit later on than that, yeah. yeah. Same okay. as local, local Moco came from the Big Island. Right, from right. Cafe 100. Right, I, I love to go there. Yeah. Yeah, when well, I used to work there, so I learned to make it. When I, when Is I that lived, where you went? I lived in Hilo. Okay, nice. All right, so we, we uh, this is what it looks like when you put the, uh, what do we call this again? The uh, arade. masago arade. Yeah, masago arade. And you pat it in there so it sticks in sticks there. Sticks on there. Plus, yeah. the sand and little oil so it sticks on. Okay. All right. When we come back, what we're going to do is we're going to throw this in the pan and we're going to finish off that reduction there uh, with the cream and we're going to add butter in that as well. Cream, the butter, and the yuzu sauce. All right. Don't go anywhere, you guys. We've got Russell Sio in the kitchen. He's making one of my favorite dishes. I didn't even know you were going to make this today. I mean, I'm excited. <laughs> That's good. More cooking Hawaiian style when we come back. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Elena's Filipino Foods. The new Otani Hotel on Kaimana Beach. And Family Food. Welcome back. We got Russell Seal here and we're uh, making one of his favorites and one of my favorites, the salmon uh, crusted arare. Fubu arare crusted salmon. With a yuzu butter sauce. Oh, yeah. So we got your pan going here and you're okay. going to sear that. I'll put our fish in. All right. And you, uh, you have your reduction going. Tell us again what's in the reduction. It's pretty much a white wine, rice wine vinegar, shallots, uh -huh. green onion, and ginger. All right. And you're letting it, uh, I mean, you're letting it go to about half of what you put in there, right? Right. Reduced by half. Okay. I'm going to add a touch of cream to this. Okay. How much cream? Just a little bit. Basically, Just I put the cream, you don't put it all top. Here. I got a for the um, for, for the butter sauce? Yeah. You don't really need to put cream. You need butter sauce. But I do it because people at home, when they make it, Yeah. If you don't have it, if it's too hot, it's going to break. I see. So by the cream, it helps to stabilize the sauce. Okay. So pretty much make it dummy proof. Yeah, yeah. Are you are you constantly in the test kitchen? Or are you at all in the test kitchen anymore? I'm in the kitchen all the time. Yeah, all the time. I do all, new I stuff. Do, I do all the banquets mostly for yeah. the rice. Then right. in the morning, I help prep everything at Kaka. Okay, but as far as making new dishes, how much stuff do you do you play with around? With uh, new we stuff do. All we the always time? play. We always yeah. like... We started working on a new menu items for 3660 now. Okay. And I call Kaka too. Right. So I was making things, trying, tasting, yeah. and everything like that. My, uh, my daughter works at uh, Kaka Kitchen. Right. Yeah, she, she loves the food there. She, uh, I always tell her, bring me home something, but it never makes it home. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so I like my salmon kind of medium rare. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Is so that like how you make it? A little bit more. It's a thick piece. Yeah. And this is. um. <clears throat> wild salmon. Okay. It's, it's really oily. Yeah. That's what I like. It's really nice. One of my favorites. All right. So that's boiling back there. Is that cool, good like that? No, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Then we're going to whisk. Then we're going to add my yuzu in there. Then we'll whisk my butter. Okay. Cookinghawaiianstyle.com. You can go to the website and you'll get all the exact measurements uh, to make this. I'm getting a, a lot of chefs lately. Well, not a lot. Just a few saying they don't like give away their recipe. Really? When they come on the show. Or oh, the Chinese then. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's interesting because, I mean, every big chef has a cookbook, right? And you put your thing. And then I go and try to make it myself, and it never comes out the same. Really? Yeah, I'm going to try to do it yours, this at home. Oh, my, it always works. You know why? No, but. I always test my recipes because people will call you at the restaurant. Right, they do. I have your recipe. And then, and then, oh, I think you measure wrong. I think you had it all too high. Well, and then so that's that what I think right. it is. It's just, uh, we, we're the problem, not you guys. You guys aren't the problem. We're the problem. Not right? right. Yeah, I guarantee you're not going to come out the same. But that's good because you want everyone to come to your restaurant. Right. No, but <laughs> no, but you want it to be right so people at least have what you call faith in. Of course, of course. Let me get this out okay. of your way. We're gonna put this on the side. Okay. This. You want to put that plate here? You gonna plate here? Yes. In front of us. Okay. Well, first we're gonna. Um, you know. What are you gonna this, make? This is a chinoise. Okay. okay. What is that called? Chinoise. Chinoise. I was wondering where that name came from. Maybe China, like a China cap. The China cap, so yeah. French people call it chinois. Chinois, okay. All right. Okay, I'll start to reduce again. You want to do a little bit more. All right. We got about a minute left, chef. Yeah, okay. So we'll skin the butter. How much butter are you going to put in there? About this. All right, about a tablespoon of butter. A little bit more. And that's just going to make it creamy, huh? Right. A little bit more. A tablespoon and a half of butter. Oh, bit let's more. do two tablespoons. So how about like? All right, let's do the whole container. Let's do a, a tub of I butter. Think so. Yeah, no problem. Because 
basically. Everyone loves butter. They do. All okay. right. Then I'll put to the shirwaska, but you, do, you don't want to bite into all these things. To make the taste. I see. I see. All right, we got 30 seconds, so let's finish this up. We're going to plate this. Plate this, okay. I'll put this on the side for you. All right. Oh, so you're going to put it on the bottom of the plate there? Bottom of the plate. Okay. My salmon, please. There you go, your salmon. Okay, my, a little bit kobayaki. All right. Get this out of your way. Okay. That looks awesome. And that's it. Voila. It's pretty uh, simple. It's a little simple thing. So we got some pickled onions. Pickled onions. A little more character to it. Okay. Then my garnish. I'll, I'll put this. I'll have this on my bag. Awesome. There it is. That's Instagrammable right there. All right. When we come back, chef is going to cook. What are you cooking next? I'm doing ahi carpaccio. All right. Ahi carpaccio. Don't go anywhere. Cooking Hawaiian style. We'll be back. This segment of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Auntie Lilikoi and Salty Wahine. Welcome back. We got Chef Russell Seal here, 3660 on the rise, Kakaako Kitchen, and he's making a carpaccio. I've never seen carpaccio made, you know. Really? Yeah. Well, it's different from the beef, but this is ahi. ahi right, right. Soft, so it's easy. It's a little bit softer. So you got a piece of ahi. And I put a plastic wrap. Okay. Yeah, I think a little piece of plastic wrap. All right, saran wrap. Saran wrap, if you're following at home, because <laughs> we're going to pound this out just like you would, uh, well, carpaccio, what do you do when you beef carpaccio? You freeze um, it and then you shave it? You freeze it and you slice it. You slice it on, a, slice on it. A, one of those machines, right. right? And I use my tenderizer. Yeah, Thor. All right. Pound it down. If you don't, you if don't have you don't, to be pound. If you don't have one of these, just find a rock outside. All right? Pound it in like this. Hey. That's it. Yeah. Can I Try to shape it if you want. If you have a cut, cut it to make it nice round circles okay. if you like. You mean like a cookie cutter or something? Like a cookie cutter. Yeah. But it's just for us. All right, this sounds good on television, doesn't okay. it? All right. Yeah, now, take the top piece off. Okay. Easy. That's it. That's it. Then we take our You plate. serve this at the restaurant? So we do. All right, how do you know, how do you know when it's done? You just want to get it thin enough so thin it's enough not to... falling apart. Right, and you kind of shape it like this. Okay. Then put it on the side. And now, I'm going to toss our greens. All right, so you're going to put this on the top of that? Top of that, right. All right. This little grease. What's bit. your favorite local food thing to oh. eat? Like when you're not home, what is, the, what is the thing you miss? Yeah, I like Asian food. I like simple, but yeah. home, I like chazuke. Yeah? I like, oh, I like simple food. I like food. chazuke too. Like very simple foods. You Salmon chazuke. Okay. That's my favorite. Yeah. I can eat that every day actually. Wow. Yeah. All right, what did you put in the salad? It's a lemon vinaigrette. Okay. I put a little bit of my kona sea salt in here. All right. Okay. Then I bring my ahi kapacha back up We're going to put the recipe for the vinaigrette on, on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com, okay? Okay. I think a little bit All right. more sea salt because you know, I have no flavor. You want yes. nice and seasoned. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on my Parmesan cheese. Some cheese. Shaved Parmesan. Parmigiano, shaved yep. Parmigiano. Yep. And you know what I like to use too is arugula. Yeah. You can see, you're just using a, a mixed greens though. Little, All right. Little, so a little bit of pepper. That's it. Salt. And that's, that's pretty it. much it. That's it. Yeah, Very simple. simple. What do we do now? Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got my crop sticks. Okay. Do you see these new chopsticks? These crop sticks? If you break the top. Yeah, yeah. you break the top. And this one is uh, made out, these are made out of um, bamboo. Wow. Instead of wood, so they're not cutting down any more trees. And they're saving, plus you put chopsticks inside of a trash bag, poke holes and make rubbish everywhere, right? Right. Anyway, I'm gonna try this, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. Awesome. Good job. You gonna have any? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this at the rest, uh, at the men, uh, on oh, your menu. We, we do that special. Yeah, you can do this with salmon too, huh? Mm-hmm. Right on. I do half salmon, and half ahi. All right. Nice color too. What are you gonna be making next? I'm gonna make ahi salad. Ahi salad. All right. So when we come back, Russell gonna be making some ahi salad. Don't go anywhere. More with cooking Hawaiian style. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Midweek and Aloha Show You. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. Got Russell Sue with me. Russ, what is your favorite restaurant to go to besides yours? I can't answer that question. You can't answer? Uh, there's a lot of restaurants that I like. I, what, well, favorite hole in the depends wall. Depends what I have the mood for. Yeah. Like, I go to Palace for salmon. 
Okay. So I listen to Ethel's. Oh, I love I Ethel's. I go to Otage for walking down yeah. food. Sunrise, I mean, there's so many places. Sunrise is awesome, I huh? go to Side Street for water drink yeah. or Chart House. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm on the same, I just want to make sure I'm on the same level as you. Nah, you are the same, <laughs> you're both my level. <laughs> no, no, what are we making next? Okay, we do this, um, uh, chop, what they call chop eye salad. Okay. So it's sesame dressing. All right, First I do, thing we, got, I do. we got this pan heating up for you, right, by the okay. way. So olive oil. my fish, a okay. little bit of salt, and chichimi. Okay. All right, what is this? Chichimi. Chichimi. Yeah. So add a little heat to it. Okay. Okay. If I don't have chichimi, what can I use? Anything? Togarashi. Togarashi? No. Okay. Okay, no. He's gonna sear that side, huh? Okay. And we'll season the back side again. Okay. Some Hawaiian salt, make just a pinch. Okay. A little bit more chichimi in the back. Chichimi. It's a very light for the back. Sounds like you cannot pronounce sashimi. Yep. <laughs> chichimi. All right. Okay. Oh, well, that's cooking. You wanna just cook it like about, just have a nice sear, so look at the side. Yeah, nice yeah, white. yeah. I'm gonna flip it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to overcook your fish. Okay. You don't want to eat rubber. You want to have it nice it, and seared. Like, rare stuff. Yes, very rare. Very rare. So I look at the bottom, see the nice white right. again. This is the flavor, comes out really nice. Yeah. yeah. The caramelization process. I think that's perfect for me right there. I don't I know about so. you. I'll take Good. this off. Okay. I'll move this out Let's of the way. A little bit. Okay. Now, look, I got my shiitake mushrooms. All right. I married it with teriyaki sauce. No, you marinated this. Right. How long did you marinate it? For about an hour. Okay. And it's gonna, it goes right into the fins. All right. Then I grill it on the charcoal grill. If you don't make your own teriyaki sauce, you can just buy bottled teriyaki sauce. Right. I never thought to marinate mushrooms. That's a great idea. And then here. Okay. I'm gonna take this. Just some mixed greens. On top here. I'm gonna add my one block of some carrots in there for nice color. Okay. Okay. Then I have my onions. One uh, block, by the way, uh, cabbage. We're okay. going to have cabbage. All right, we got some uh, some onions. sweet onion. And I put, people don't like too much onions, so let's put just enough too. I like plenty of onions. Okay, put Only onion me on. and you going to eat that. So <laughs> <we're> gonna... <laughs> okay. All right, now you're going to see, you're going to uh, slice this up. Slice this up. Okay. Nice chunks. So you don't sell this at um, 3660 anymore? No, we do it at Kakako Kitchen. Kakako Kitchen, yeah. okay. And then, right now, ahi is so hard to get good ahi. Now. Yeah, yeah. Because the... I don't know why, but it's so. getting expensive, and you know people are wasting, <sighs> people are overfishing. Come on, you guys, and Just I take what you're gonna eat. Buy the, I don't buy any frozen fish. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like the carbon monoxide fish. I like yeah. it gotta be fresh. Right. That's good. That's okay. good. I like that. Let's put this in the on the uh, change this. Put this plate up here. Okay. So uh, everyone can see at home what you're doing. Okay. And now I think my dressing. My soy now, sesame what kind dressing. of dressing is that? Soy sesame dressing. Okay. There's lemon juice. There's a lot of show you in here. There is sesame oil, all sesame right. seed, sugar, and that's pretty much that's it. All right, and you did that all to taste, so we're gonna put the exact ingredients uh, on our website for you guys to okay, measure make sure it out. Basically, the oil will separate. Yeah. And you're gonna okay. toss that, like, just like that. This, what about the salad? Once you make the salad, you toss it, you have to eat it right away. Yeah. Because the show you and everything will break down the lettuce. Make it wilt, huh? It'll take, well, yep. Just okay. toss it like that. Toss it lightly. Can you soak any other type of mushroom? Do you, you just use shiitake mushroom for this one, but can like you soak any mushroom? Because shiitake is associated being Asian. Yeah. I just can't say put mutton mushrooms, you know? Right, right, I'm right. looking at the same flavor. Yeah. That's the new swear word, by the way, on social media. What? Shiitake. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. I don't oh. know. Somebody yelled at me shiitake one time. So I thought that was the new thing. It he was, was your a millennial. Last name, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> All right, so just toss that. And this is how the salad comes. Um, at Kakako Kitchen. Yeah, but here we, I'm gonna put the ahi. Okay. Put, put in a bowl here. Oh, you're gonna toss some of that extra, the right. vinaigrette on top of that. Right. Ah, there you go. There's a nice trick for you. So at least that's flavor, you know, cause I'm just gonna put it right go. on top. Okay. All right, we got about a minute left. Okay. Put that all on the top. Beautiful. I don't know what everyone else is gonna eat, but I'm eating this. Okay. Refreshing, perfect for the summer. Good job. Okay, then we do this. All right, you're gonna just put some wonton chips. It's for the crunch. A, a little carrot for uh, some coloring. And when we come back, uh, we're gonna taste all this good stuff. That looks good, Russ. Good Thank job, you. good job. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen. We'll be back with more Cooking Hawaiian Style. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Highway Inn. 
and crop sticks. Chef, thank you so much for joining us today. You want to tell everybody again what you made? Uh, we have as bubble already crusted salmon, uh -huh. sauce, butter sauce, I chopped salad, and we have our ayu capacho. Oh, the dressing on the salad is, is awesome. I really like it. I thank tried you. the carpaccio earlier, and I love how you do that. Very simple. You can get all the recipes on our website. Like we mentioned, I've been waiting for this right here. Tell us how you did the, uh, the sauce again. Sauce is a reduction of white wine, rice wine vinegar, shallots, ginger, green onion. I reduce it by half, a little cream, reduce that again, mm -hmm. and finish with butter. And I add a little bit of my usual juice in it. And the then end. you add a, the and around little the side design. Is kabayaki sauce. Kabayaki sauce. There's a little sweetness to it, and the pickled onions do a little contrast. Oh, this is awesome. And the, of course, the arare, I think is, um, what well, the star of the show here next to the salmon. Because salmon is very soft, you want uh -huh. something crunchy so that you give it a little more texture in your mouth. Yeah. Tell everybody where your uh, restaurants are. It's in Kamuki, 3660 on the rise, at Kakako Kitchen World Center. When you go to 3660 on the rise, it's that little hill. It's in the building, so you can't really see it from the street. Right. The but parking I, is underneath the building. Yeah, but I notice all the really good restaurants are for fine. So you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kakako Kitchen in Ward Warehouse. Ward Center. Ward Center. Right. You in how many years now? I'm um, going 21 years. 21 years. Go and visit. Support the local chefs. Uh, thank you so much again for joining us. We've been thank trying you. to get you on the show for seven seasons now. <laughs> uh, check out his social media. What's your social media? It's uh, Kakako Kitchen 1 uh -huh. and 3660 on the rise. There you go. Chef Russell Sue. We'll see you guys next week on another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style.